I have been busy. I have been growing sugar canes, killing cows for leather, and I have also organized all the items. This is for the blocks. This is for ores and mob drops. Now, as you can see, I am almost out of iron. And the reason for this is because I made new armor, I made a shield, I made a new shield and I made a bucket. Now the reason why I had to make new armor and a new shield is because of skeletons. Skeletons might be the most annoying mobs in Minecraft, especially at the beginning. Is that a trident? That is a trident. I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. But yeah, skeletons are so annoying. For example, let's say a skeleton is in the water here, right? You try to kill him, he keeps pushing you back because he keeps shooting you with arrows. And when you're in water, if he keeps shooting you, you keep going back and you're so slow in the water without um, depth strider. And that makes it so annoying to kill the skeletons. And my armor took so much damage because of that as well as my shield. So my armor and shield are over here. These will go in my house for uh, nostalgic reasons. I want to keep my first pickaxe, diamond, armor and shield. So yeah. So yeah, that's the reason we are almost out of iron. I also died for the very first time off camera. I was killing skeletons. I was fighting two skeletons and a creeper decided to join in, you know, enjoy and went kaboom and I died. Um, hold on. Let me, let me show you guys. Okay. I'll show you, I'll show you where I died in, in a minute, but yeah, I, I had my first death. So yeah, that is, that is sad, but you know, it was a creeper. I didn't die in a dumb way or anything. It was a creeper. So it's fine. It's fine. But thanks to the skeletons, I got a bow and I got a lot of arrows. So the next time a skeleton starts shooting me in water, he's going to die because I have bow and arrow as well. So yeah, there is that. But as I said, I have organized all my items. This is for farming and food. This is for armor, tools and weapons. And as you can see, we have some leads. The amount of wandering traders that have spawned on this island while I was growing sugar canes and killing cows is absolutely insane. I had like five or six of them. And yeah, here's one. Here's this guy. So yeah, I got the leads because uh, if you didn't know uh, wandering traders, of course, trade leads. Um, it's a very special trade. It comes very rarely. So I decided to trade the leads. Uh, I, I decided to trade for leads with the wandering trader. So yeah, big thanks to the wandering trader. I appreciate it. But yeah, that's basically what I have done off camera. I, I know I know I've done a lot, but the goals for today's episode are make a diamond pickaxe, get fortune three on it. That is why I have been growing sugar cane and killing cows for leather because I want to make a enchanting table, like a level 30 enchanting table. And what else? Oh yeah. And I also want to build my starter house. So let's begin. Now, before we make an enchanting table, we need obsidian and to get obsidian, we need a diamond pickaxe. I also removed all the sugar canes here because I already have enough sugar canes. So I don't need it anymore or I don't need the farm anymore. Also, like I said in the last episode, I am sorry if you hear random noises in the back for some reason. All the buildings, um, including mine, decided to go into repair exactly the month I come back to YouTube. So there is that. I, oh, it's a puppy. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. How are you? I don't have any bones. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the background noises. If you, if you hear them, just, you know, just ignore it. Just ignore it. But yeah, let's make the diamond pickaxe. So boom, there we go. 
the first ever diamond pickaxe of this series. That's awesome. Now I will show you guys where I died off camera. Now while I travel there, I will explain to you guys why I need Fortune 3. The reason why I need Fortune 3 is because I need a lot of copper. I think I need 3 to 5 stacks of copper to make my starter house. The reason why I need so much copper is because it's not a house. I know I keep calling it a starter house. I don't really don't I don't know what else to call it. But it's not a house as you saw in the thumbnail. It's a submarine. So um I need a lot of copper. I don't know exactly how much copper I need. I'm too lazy to count. So I I just I just decided I need somewhere around 3 to 5 stacks of copper. Now copper as it is without fortune 3 drops a lot of copper. The copper ore I mean. Um and with fortune 3 you're just going to get a lot of it. So why not go mining with fortune 3 instead of, you know, without fortune 3. So yeah, that's the reason I need Fortune 3. I also have a really good name for my pickaxe once it's enchanted. It's a Jojo reference, so that's cool. But yeah, the place where I died is almost here. Hold on, hold on. We are almost there. This is a nice place. I would like to build... I would like to build something here. <gasps> turtles! Hello turtles, how are you? Nice. Have a good day. Um, <laughs> where are, where is the place? It's, it's here. It's here. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Um, this is where I blew up. Unfortunate, unfortunate. I'm not going to fill this in. Um, because you know, this was the first ever, this was the place where I had my first ever death. So I want to keep it. I want to keep it, make it a, make it a monument, you know, make it a, Make it, make it a wonder of the world. There we go. Hi, Editor Rex here. Turns out the audio for this footage had a lot of background noise. And probably this audio which I'm recording right now will also probably have a lot of background noise, which I apologize for. So I decided to just record a voiceover for this one clip. So basically what I was telling in this footage was that if we don't get Fortune 3, which we didn't, we got Unbreaking 1, Fortune 1, and Unbreaking 3. If we didn't get Fortune, I said I would reroll the enchantment table, but we got Fortune, sorry, we got Unbreaking 3, which sometimes can be a good thing. You can get Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, and Efficiency 4. So I decided I am going to go for fortune. Sorry, I keep saying fortune. I decided I'm going to go for unbreaking three and hope I get what I need as well. If not, we can disenchant the pickaxe and reroll until we get fortune three. And as you can see, I don't have a lot of XP. So I decided I am going to fish. Now fishing not only will give me food, it will also give me enchantment books, which can be useful in the future. So yeah, let's go fishing. All right, I have 30 levels. 
So let's hope we get fortune. If not, I will keep enchanting till I get fortune. Okay, that is not fortune. That is a pretty good work pickaxe, but that's not what I need. Okay, so I'm going to keep enchanting till till I get fortune and once I get fortune, I will I will come back and uh, we can we can decide what to do next. Finally, we got Fortune 3. We got it a lot sooner than I expected it to get. So that's good. I also got a scoot from a turtle that was over here for a... Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Anyway, there was a turtle here that grew up and he ended up dropping a scoot. So that's good. This is, uh, this is going to be treasured. But unfortunately, I will have to end the episode over here because I have been having a lot of audio and video technical issues. That's the reason this episode took so long to come out. I basically had to re-record this entire episode because of, because of those issues. And yeah, so unfortunately I will be ending the episode here. We will build the starter house in the next episode. I will make sure to collect all the resources off camera so that we can jump straight into building the starter house. So yeah, sorry, sorry about that. But yeah, I will meet you guys in the next episode. And until next time, keep working hard, never give up and goodbye.